As a request from Hazardous DJC, this one is about assigning AI to the losing team. Based on a two team game, this will show you how to get all the AI in the game to assist the team that is losing and switch teams if the other team starts losing. Let's get it. Okay, for map setup, there's none. Not a single bit. Uh, as long as you have your spawners set up what you want and your AI spawners set up how you want, you don't have to do a thing for map setup. So we're gonna jump right into the scripting. So we're gonna start with an event and that's going to be uh, on player killed. There we go, on player killed. What we're gonna do is go down here to logic. There we go. Grab for each object. Go ahead and plug that in, we're good. We won't be using any of these, so you don't gotta worry about that. We're going to go up here to uh, AI basic and grab all the AI units because this is assuming, of course, that you want all the AI in your map to be helping the losing team. Now we're going to go to game mode. We're going to work left to right. That, that's why we're doing this. We're going to get team points. We're going to do this twice. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this. And the first team will be team one. And the second one will be team two. Go back up here to AI and get squad from AI unit. Place it down here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need uh, AI modifiers now. We're gonna use set to inactive. Uh, this We're gonna set it to false though. You'll see why we're doing this at the end of the script. Go ahead and set that to false. We're gonna make sure that they are active. That's what we're doing. We wanna, we wanna make sure that they do shoot and do things. Okay, so next we're gonna grab two branches from logic. Go ahead and plug them in like that. And then we're gonna branch the second one off of the first by using this because we're going to have three uh, outcomes and that's why we need two branches. We're going to grab logic compare the very first node, which is we're going to put it uh, right here is fine. Right here is fine. The total score we're going to put into the operand A and B respectively. You gotta, it doesn't matter which order as long as you uh, do the you'll see if A is greater than B a is team one. If that's true, then, then we go to AI modifiers. No, we go to AI advanced, sorry. Assign squad to team. If A is greater than B, which means if team one has more points than team two, then team two will be the ones that get the allies since they're losing. And go ahead and plug squad in to the get squad from AI unit that we placed earlier. And you kind of see what we're going with here. We're going to do the opposite for this. Team one will get the allies if uh, team two, there it is. If team two has more points than team one. So whichever team has the least amount of points will be getting the allies. And oops, we're going to do this a third time. You're probably wondering, why are we doing that? We only have two teams, right? Well, this is to make sure that it's something I do. You don't have to do this, but it's something that I would do in this mode. I'm going to have them set to team three if the points are equal, because then they will be, uh, then they'll fire on both squad or both teams equally as they're not allied with either one of them since neither one are winning. You can have them do that or you can do what I have that uh, that set up there set for. Ooh, I got some word salad there. Set AI unit inactive, just like earlier, but this time we're going to set, go ahead and plug in AI unit to the current object all the way back there. This time we're gonna set it to true because what this what's gonna happen now is they'll be assigned to a neutral team essentially between the two teams and they won't do anything. They'll just stop in their tracks and not help anybody, not do anything, not shoot at anybody until one of the teams take the lead and then they will, you know, resume being placed on a team and firing at the other team. But you don't have to have that and you can have them fire on them, but I will. And that's it. That is your script. This will get what you want because uh, it keeps track of any time a player dies, uh, the points change depending on when a player dies. And if somehow the points don't change, then nothing changes from the last time. 
that it that it ran. So there you go. That's that's gonna happen. And we're gonna go ahead and test it in custom games, so that way we don't have to uh, worry about hey, how do we get tell our points? How do we tell our points in Forge mode? You know, and all that good stuff. All right, here we go. And hopefully my game volume isn't too high. I actually messed with my OBS today, and I think I forgot to change that. But it's no big deal. All right. Notice they're not doing anything because I had it set up that way, and I can kill them, do whatever. Uh, and then the bot shot at them too. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. And now they're not too happy with me, and they're gonna—they're definitely gonna want to kill me. He won't respond because I am within his line of sight. There he is. He's back. Now he's gonna kill me, and then they're gonna go completely uh, inactive once again. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, he's got the cat ears. <laughs> All right. They all respawn. Notice they're back to being inactive. Oh, hello. I'm gonna let him kill me again. Come on, hit me. Do it again. Bam. And now they're probably going to go at. Yep, they're gonna attack him now. All right. And see the reticle. Is, the reticle is now purple, which is my friendly color. But if I kill him. They're back to doing nothing, and if he were to kill me, as soon as he respawns, I'm going to let him kill me one more time. And then you can see that, or I'm going to go ahead and kill him. There we go. And then it switches back, they're mad at me again, and so on. And that's all it took. So now you can give an extra push to the team that's falling behind, and make for some really chaotic games. It was awfully short, but hey, that's what we aim for. The sooner we get to the point, means it's more likely the script is super simple. Catch you around.